Thanks for joining us. In this audit, we looked at whether the Ministry of Health, which I'll simply refer to as Health from here on in, and the Provincial Health Officer were taking adequate action to protect drinking water for all British Columbians. We focused on the three pillars that government established to protect drinking water. Those pillars are 1. The leadership and coordination by health. 2. The actions by health and the provincial health officer. And 3. The accountability of health and the provincial health officer. We undertook this audit because of the considerable importance of safe drinking water and because risks to drinking water are increasing. Overall, we found that health and the provincial health officer are not sufficiently protecting drinking water for all British Columbians. If drinking water is exposed to harmful pathogens without adequate treatment during its journey from source to tap, people can become sick with waterborne illness. Thankfully, BC has not had a known outbreak of waterborne illness since 2004, but a single event that contaminates a drinking water system can cause serious health impacts for numerous people. The first pillar that we focused on was about health's leadership and coordination efforts. We found that the Ministry has not been as vigilant about protecting our drinking water as it has been in the past. Its leadership has waned and many of the committees that were formed to facilitate the protection of drinking water have disbanded. We also found that health had not developed a strategic plan to provide clear direction on the actions needed by the Ministries and regional health authorities to improve the protection of drinking water. Overall, we found that there is a need for a more comprehensive review of the legislation and regulations to ensure that government's commitments that were made in the 2002 Action Plan for Safe Drinking Water in British Columbia are not compromised. The second pillar that we looked at involved the actions taken by health and the provincial health officer. We found that while health had taken a number of actions, more needs to be done. The provincial health officer hasn't demonstrated adequate oversight of drinking water officers, nor has the office shown the tracking and resolution of significant impediments to drinking water protection. The provincial health officer has the authority under the Drinking Water Protection Act to recommend to the Minister of Health a localized drinking water protection plan to prevent threats to a drinking water source. For example, the Provincial Health Officer recommended a protection plan for the Comox Valley in 2008, 2010, 2015, and 2018. However, government still hasn't established a plan for the area. Finally, we found that efforts to protect small water systems have been limited. Yet 90% of BC's water systems are deemed small water systems. To give you a sense of scale, there are about 480,000 people in BC that rely on small water systems. Finally, for the third pillar that we looked at, we found that overall, health and the provincial health officer's accountability to ensure drinking water was protected is concerning. Neither organization has kept government sufficiently apprised of the ongoing risks to drinking water. Health hasn't provided information on drinking water in its annual service plan reports, and the provincial health officer has reported sporadically on drinking water and potential issues over the years, but not annually, as required in the Drinking Water Protection Act. In June of this year, the provincial health officer provided its report for the years 2012 to 2017 and made 32 recommendations. Unfortunately, Many of the provincial health officer's recommendations from previous reports have seen limited or no progress. In conclusion, we found that health and the provincial health officer are not sufficiently protecting drinking water for British Columbians. We made eight recommendations in the report. Five are to health and include providing leadership to coordinate the ministries, undertaking a legislative review, identifying risks and developing a strategic plan, and reporting out to the public. The other three recommendations are for the Provincial Health Officer and include taking action to improve its oversight, reviewing legislation, monitoring progress and trends, and reporting out on a timely basis. Given the complexity of drinking water protection and the challenges faced by the Ministry of Health, it's time for government to clearly articulate rules and ensure that ministries and agencies are held accountable. 
That's our report summary for today. Thank you for joining us. We'd like to encourage you to read the full report. It and our other reports are available on our website at www.bcauditor.com.